Replays Tyrrell here, and this is one of the sets of replays that I wanted to save from that King's Rock and Farming Kings war. And what it is, is Angel J. Kabajal, I, Kabajal, I, I'm sorry, I cannot pronounce that, is using all witches. This is something we haven't seen anyone at all using, except maybe as a joke, in a very long time. I think there were some witches lost with that giant bomb, maybe one or two, but that was actually pretty lucky that the witches didn't get taken down. But this is something you really haven't seen, especially since the introduction of multi-target Inferno Towers. Back in the day when witches were first released, back, I don't know what it was, last spring or whatever, they were unstoppable. You would just have this army, 20 witches, and then you would have a golem in the clan castle. In this case, there wasn't a golem in the clan castle. But back then, you would have that and a golem, and you would 100% every single base because there's only single target inferno towers if you were to lightning the most dangerous of the splash damage the only way you wouldn't get a three star is if you ran out of time and right here angel is just using that old one but even more just witches it's witches all witches and angel's actually going to get a two star this person has multi-target infernos with almost max defenses actually i'm surprised there's someone in king's rock who doesn't have max defenses it's really just the archer towers but look look at this the archer queen technically isn't even needed the witches will actually take it down before the multi-target infernos could get to them there's that many witches and at this point you can see why people don't use it anymore just in regular matchmaking besides the fact that it costs seven thousand dark elixir you can see that look what these inferno towers did these Inferno Towers took them all out as soon as they came in range. But still, 61% 2 star, 22 witches. Okay, it's a waste of Dark Elixir, but it's cool to see someone actually using this again. And they're going to use it on Gotti, a fully maxed out base. But look at this, using different spells, 3 jump spells. Before, you saw all lightning spells. That's what technically you used to see, except maybe like 4 lightnings in a jump. You would literally see almost all lightning spells on the old one. But Angel's going to be using just jump spells and two rages. I'm surprised. But Angel knows what they're doing because obviously this works. And they can actually go in and win. And look at that. Three jump spells. That's a lot of jump spells. But they don't have any wall breakers. And these are max level walls with 7,000 health. They may have a lot of skeletons. But it'll still take a while to get there. And look, the queen's already beelined for the town hall. The witches actually took out everything on the side and funneled her in. Uh... I don't know where the king is. I guess he died. Yeah, he looks like he yeah, he died right next to the town hall, probably because of that single target. Notice how these are single target inferno towers, just like you used to have back in the day. But Angel is going up against it. Probably picked it because this is a single target inferno tower. Although normally I would have expected farming kings to take someone with single target inferno towers with hog riders, but which has seemed to work because the heroes aren't too easy to get out of this base. Like, they'd probably be risking not winning if they use hogs. But I just thought it was cool to actually see someone using this. I have not seen anyone seriously using this in so long. In months and months. Ever since the introduction of multi- Really? No. Was it the introduction of multi-target infernos that did it? Yeah. So it wasn't last spring? It was- Is that how long it's been since we've gotten a new troop? It was spring before last- this whole time I'm saying last spring, it was spring before last. God, I feel old. Oh God. <laughs> I'm like, oh, witches have been released last spring. No, they were released in 2013. Holy crap. Wow. But seriously, that's how long we've had witches and that's how long it's been since I've ever seen anyone using this army. I just thought it was really cool to see someone two-starring maxed out bases with it or two starring slightly under max bases that have multi-target inferno towers multi-target setting that is cool to see someone who's actually doing that i think it's a big risk but it's fun to see because everybody loves just this massive troops coming at you so this is what i wanted to show you guys there's no real strategy besides spam and win with this or spam and lose but i still wanted to show you guys i technically would not recommend it unless you just want to have some fun in regular matchmaking or some fun in clan wars if you see someone who has like single target inferno towers and splash damage that's all to one side but obviously if that's not what you're seeing i would not recommend using it i just thought it was a fun army to show you guys
and I hope you liked it. So thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Material out.